Aquarius, this is all about you. Yes, I'm back to the glasses because I had something wrong with my eye that I couldn't, I couldn't wear. I couldn't wear my contact lenses, but I like them. I think they're spiffy. Uh, Aquarius, this is uh, your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is not a horoscope. It's an energy reading. So it doesn't matter if you're an Aquarius sun, moon, or rising sign, or if you have your Mars, Venus, Mercury, Jupiter, and Aquarius. Wh wherever Aquarius influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies and themes. Remember, if it don't fit, don't try to squeeze it. We are not Daenerys Storborn. We're not trying to break the freaking wheel, okay? But Aquarius, um, if you, um, hold on, what did I want to say? Oh, there's always an extended reading. Always, always, always. That link is below. What it does is it broadens, expands on, and gets into nitty gritty detail. Um, for those of you interested in a quasi personal reading, this is a much more personal experience over in the extended, and it also always includes um, a romance reading. That link is in the description box as well as the comment section below. What is more Capricorn? Every single, well not every single day, every single weekday. So Monday through Friday, I always go live on Instagram. I do a daily reading and message prediction and we have exceptional conversations that are deep, powerful, and they are not for the lighthearted. Um, but that happens over on Instagram every single day. So the daily still exists. Please find me if you want to join in. Go to born underscore without underscore boundaries on Instagram and you can participate in those daily readings. Um, you can also find me on Snapchat. I hope you do. I throw up some interesting stuff on Snapchat too. We're going to go into and start with the Oracle card reading over here. Um, please do like this video if you really do like it at the end and share it on your social media profiles. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel and help the channel grow so I can thrive and continue to create this phenomenal content. And if you really want to know when I upload content right away, hit that ring bell, hit that bell, hit that bell so that you know. Um, beyond that, uh, what else do I want to say? There is some information that I want to share with you. I don't like these long introductions. They won't happen every week, but I feel like I've gotten so many new subscribers. Welcome to the channel that in a way I have to go over this stuff. Um, yeah, so hit that, click on that bell below so you know when I upload the videos. This is an energy reading, so it really is... I've stopped marking dates on them because I realized that people were feeling, um, people were, people were feeling, uh, uh, people were finding old videos and running into them and, and really feeling like they resonated. So it comes to you when the time is right. But if you want to know right when I upload them, definitely ring that bell. So you'll, you'll, you'll get notifications. All right, Aquarius, let's get into this Aquarius energy. Yes, Aquarius. There are commercials in this video. Expect them. There's going to be at most three, just like when we were kids, when we were watching Friends, when we were watching Cheers. They always had commercial breaks. That's what's going to happen here. Um, three tops coming out the back end. <laughs> it's really interesting, Aquarius. Um, um, so, so, so maybe unconventional energy. What comes out here is be at home something you don't feel comfortable with or you're actually at a distance you may be traveling this week or going away from us or basically going away from a place or a space where you feel comfortable accepted it doesn't mean that something bad is happening it just means that something new is happening and it's contrary to what makes you feel comfortable so you don't feel comfortable once again that doesn't mean something bad is happening a lot of times the way that we grow, the way that we develop is we uh, live up to challenges. When we face those things that make us uncomfortable, uncomfortable situations um, are like working out. They build up those muscle groups so that you get stronger. Once again, it's not, hold on a second. Once again, it is not necessarily a bad thing. This is your crowning energy. So all this tells me is overall the reading is going to be themed getting, trying to find Dealing with something that makes you uncomfortable, dealing with a space that, that makes you, that's foreign to you. It could actually literally mean that you're away from home. You have to work on something in a space that is distant from you. So you could be feeling a little bit melancholy, missing something. Melancholy is sort of the undertone of this card because this is the heart chakra space and it's a little bit turned upside down right now. Maybe it's a little bit sad. Something that meant a lot to you is changing. So there's differences coming up. Up that cause discomfort but let's see let's see 
that energy, that, sh that, that heart chakra energy. Oh, oh my goodness. I know. Wait, just give me a second, Aquarius. Be here now. This is love. This is passion. This is juiciness because the hummingbird is sucking on the nipple of nectar of life. It's just the honeydew, the sweetness of the flower, sweetness of life and the beauty of life. Something so extraordinarily beautiful to you. It just has like, it's, it's, it just has you almost hypnotized, like watching the flutter of the wings of a hummingbird. Um, how does it do that? How does it, how does it make something happen? Something that you don't really understand, but you're fascinated with, but this is also Libra energy. And this is that energy of, of enticement, of sensuality, a sense of, like I said, sweetness, seeing somebody for the first time that entices you, really interests you, really inspires you, but they're at a distance and it could very well be somebody completely new to you, somebody that you don't know, that you really don't know how to approach, an opportunity that you don't know how to approach, something that you want so bad, but at the same time, you don't want to scare it away. Ooh, but guess what? Now we have slow and steady wins the race. You could be dealing with a Cancerian. You could be dealing with a Libra. Forget about the zodiac signs right now. Focus on the energies. This is a Cancerian energy of taking your home wherever you go and getting comfortable with the emotions and the space, knowing that in your heart you carry who you are and is most important to you always. This is like the King of Cups energy for me in the tarot card deck because he's like emotional stability he knows how to defend himself he knows not to open himself up to everybody that's that shell but at the same time he doesn't hide in the shell it doesn't it's not cumbersome of him it's not it's not it's not dragging him down to the bottom of the ocean and making him not be able to move or take chances he's quite comfortable with himself this is a sea turtle not just a turtle it's a sea turtle He's so cute. It's a sea turtle. <laughs> um, so sea turtles don't hide in their shells. They don't retract into their shells. It's just a part of who they are um, based on how they've grown. They've grown into their shell and it's not a place that they hide, but it's a place that helps to take care of them. And hey, you know what? That's a good space to be in. In terms of the movement of this card, go slow. You don't have to rush into everything. In fact, when you're dealing with hummingbirds, it's best to go slow. You're not sure of this. You're not sure of this energy. You're sure that it's enticing. You're sure that it's sweet. You're sure that it's something that you are really interested in, but simultaneously, you don't know how to approach it. You don't even know how to talk to it. It's new to you. This is such a cute energy, Aquarius. I have to say, it's almost like having a crush when you're 10. It, it, it's, it's that kind of like innocent energy of awkwardness, but there's also a wisdom here. So you're not completely young. You're not awkward. And you know from past experience, Experiences that you have a right to your discomfort, you have a right to not know what you're doing, and you have a right to go slow so you learn as you go and you can get comfortable as you go. Trust in divine detours. So there has definitely been a hook in the road for you, um, something that was unexpected that you didn't think was going to come up. Um, chance, take chances. This is Sagittarius energy. Um, I don't know if you're dealing with Sagittarius, but this is Sagittarius energy. Uh, in other words, living in the moment, um, not thinking too far ahead, um, almost enjoying the chaos of sorts. So there is an excitement here, a pleasure aspect and an, an enticement, exciting, um, um, but also uh, opportunity, opportunity. There's a new opportunity in front of you. So it's like, yeah, you had to take it and you should have taken it. This is, this is, especially if you haven't taken the opportunity yet, look at, it's the energy of seven, seven is creation. So if you haven't taken the opportunity yet, do get on this road and take the opportunity. This is the energy of six plus two, which is eight, which is destiny. So this change, the shift in your life and the emergence of this enticement is happening in divine timing. Follow your nose, let yourself be enticed, but don't rush in you don't have to and the discomfort a little bit of uh not discomfort but really not knowing let's say displacement maybe you know not knowing what to do or how to act is a good thing because it'll slow you down just enough it won't it won't hold you back but it will slow you down just enough and transformation is beautiful is your central energy so 
Why do you feel uncomfortable? You feel uncomfortable because you're changing. You're awakening. There's a new part of your life that's dawning. You're becoming somebody different. And this is an evolved stage. Remember, the butterfly is the middle age to old age of a caterpillar. The caterpillar is the young thing, right? The, the much, this, this, in other words, is finding beauty in your wisdom. It's finding beauty in your experience. It's not feeling like you're bogged down by it. Like I said, with this card, you're not bogged down by the experience you're wrapped in, but instead it helps just to keep you buoyant and it actually helps to give you more dexterity um, and more movement than you had as a caterpillar. A caterpillar really only has one kind of movement. They have to crawl along leaves and eat through themselves through things, right? Um, butterflies fly. They can fly great distances. You know, they have so much more availability in terms of space and travel. And I feel like, especially being away from home, something's opening up in your life, Aquarius, where you get to travel often, where you don't have to stay in one place. Maybe your job requires you to travel. You're just getting a new job. Maybe you're moving. This is an energy of actually traveling and butterflies travel i think south i think to mexico every year um to find their tribe to mate and you know uh to to mate and then eventually pass away but this is that's not you this is the dawning of your new life this is the dawning of your more mature but 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 more beautiful and more powerful life this is an energy of you know remember how i said it's 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 like a 10 year old having a crush <laughs> um that's what it is but it's even better because you're not a 10 year old maybe you're a 50 year old maybe you're a 30 year old uh, maybe you're you're not a 10 year old anymore you've been through that first 10 year old crush you've had heartbreaks you've had deceptions you have been through all of that and that has been your cocoon that is broken down. Now you are transformed into somebody who is fresh and new and can see the world in that bright, fresh way, but simultaneously still carry their experiences along with them. Um, so this is new opportunity that's opening up for you because of who you've become. That's the 3D translation. Act as if a sense of shedding your skin, a sense of also trying to blend in, not really feeling comfortable, not really understanding what people expect of you, maybe trying to change the way that you dress, trying to change your hair, but not doing it because you're trying to brown nose, more or less just trying to experiment with new looks, experiment with new styles, trying to find uh, what, what helps project on the outside what you are or have become on the inside, a sense of this is less deception, I think, and more just trying to find your sense of self, just trying to um, discover who you are in this new skin, uh, maybe trying different things, different looks on. Uh, it could be some sort of deception, but I, I really don't believe it. But this is change. This is the energy of 14. So four plus one is one plus four is five. Um, you're changing, you're shifting, your look is changing, who you are is changing, you're shedding skin. Maybe you're getting rid of trying to be what other people wanted you to be and you're just having confidence of being yourself. Oh, Aquarius, this is a huge moment for you. Um, you know what else is coming up? Saturn, it, March 21st, Saturn is shifting into Aquarius. Yes, Saturn has to finish out. It's, it's also actually retrograding really quickly into Aquarius until July, and then it'll go back into Capricorn and stay there until it shifts for the next two and a half years into Aquarius. I mean, yeah, into Aquarius in December. So we're gonna get a little bit of um, we're gonna get a little little bit of a pre uh, a preview <laughs> of what Saturn feels like in Aquarius, and it's a lot different than it does. Um, it's a lot different than it feels in Capricorn. It's not as restricted and it's definitely not as focused on material 3D value and just like making the deal and making the money and being bougie. It's not. It's Saturn in Aquarius is, is shifting into shedding that skin, like shedding all the accoutrements, shedding all the glamour and just going back to being your true self because um, you're thinking more about others than you are about you oh really interesting energy so that could also be too that we're that you're feeling this shift and awakening because saturn is about to enter your sign Ooh, okay uh here we have um sometimes life stings um opinions or criticisms 
or uh, feedback on the on the web. You could be getting bad criticisms, negative criticisms. People could be trying to sort of bombard you with a lot of negativity, or there is something that's bugging you and frustrating you about the world, and you will want to change it. Once again, this is like that gadfly, um, that gadfly energy, the gadfly metaphor that that Socrates spoke of. Um, this energy of something is bugging you or you yourself being the bug, you see this world, right? It's like you yourself being the bug, being the harpy. Why? Because you want to incite change. Your, 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 your focus is shifting from you and your success to your community's success and to the world's success. So it's taking what you've developed into and all that you have and using it to progress a social situation, using your format to be the gadfly that incites change. So you're trying maybe to get somebody else to change or other people to change because um, for their own good. Uh, and then make your dreams real. This is the energy of weaving a reality, weaving the web. So it's almost like you want to create the web that you're challenging right now. You're trying to recreate the system. You might be actually trying to recreate the system. You could be working digitally. You could be working online. Um, you could be working on in, in an elite social network. Either way, you're trying to recreate it and reconstruct it into something that actually works better and better uh, for you, but actually works more fairly because there's a lot of things that you think are really shady, a little bit of like ambush predators right now. It's almost like predatory. You don't want it to be. You want to expose it for what it is. You're trying to uh, maybe network. Um, maybe this is just as simple as trying to network or build up your network to change your environment and change your situation and make it better. Um, Trust the great mystery. Wow. Diving in deep, diving in, di just diving in, not even thinking, thinking about yourself, thinking about your safety. You're just going under. You're taking your one last breath and you're going in deep. This is a leap of faith is exactly what you're doing. Taking that leap of faith into, into your emotions, into your instinct, into wherever the universe will take you. Once again, this is also the energy of 65, 6 plus 5 is 11, awakening awakening to your powerlessness awakening to surrender awakening to let let the universe take the wheel um and then all of this flipped over hold on uh time for a deep dive you're going under um this is romantic love a situation of maybe getting in over your head love is all around but this is like retrograde energy because this is gemini energy libra energy gemini energy um a uh, lots of air these are your sister signs libra and gemini so that's not what you're surrounded by right now though you're surrounded by water which means because we're in pisces season which simply translates into it's an unfamiliar territory being this emotional feeling really heavy in your heart but maybe this is why you're being inspired to see things in a different way you're looking at things from a view maybe underwater from a view that you never saw before you didn't know that all of this was going on until you were awakened and enlightened and and you're being it's it's being exposed to you because it knows that you have the influence and the power to change things Aquarius you're you could be running into something this week where you discover something shady is going on something unfair is going on you're getting a perspective or a viewpoint that you that you haven't gotten before and it's opening your eyes to something that you're going to have to do something about because you just have to uh, believe in yourself. Um, your sense of self is going to be questioned. I almost think that maybe you're like, am I part of this problem? Have I been causing this issue? Or what is uprooting me? This is Virgo energy. This is a sense of your world being turned upside down and uprooted and having to find a different place to be, a different way to live. That is that sense of being removed from your home. You could actually be moving. You could actually be traveling. Traveling could become a part of what you do from here on in and never really having roots right now because the world is your root. The world is your home instead of just one homestead. But this is definitely the energy of everything feeling kind of chaotic and not in controlled um, and not scheduled or really controlled. And 
It's not the worst energy for you, to be honest with you. You can handle this energy. Um, I'm not sure everybody around you can handle this energy, but you can definitely handle this energy. This is just trust. Leap in. Trust. Um, trust what you see here. Trust, trust the knowledge that you receive. Love is all around. This is almost like feeling like you're talking underwater and nobody's hearing you. Of not, not, like, remember what I said? Like you're looking at this hummingbird, but you don't know what to say. That's what this is. You can't find the words. It, they're just not coming out. You don't know how to talk to this person. This is a different kind of love. Somebody that maybe you haven't noticed before or, or somebody has noticed you. This is a different kind of connection, maybe a different kind of opportunity. You're interested, but you don't know how to approach it. This is like learning a completely different language because both Gemini and Virgo are here in reverse Guess what? Mercury is in retrograde. This is just saying things are supposed to feel chaotic right now. And any kind of conflict of you not knowing what to say is about to clear up in the next week and a half when these two get upright again. But right now, just sit back and enjoy the view and, and enjoy your being awkward. Enjoy your awkwardness. Because for right now, that's, that's really all you have the capability to be anyway. So just get used to it. <laughs> um... Aquarius, this is a big reading. Mm. I like hanging with you guys anyway. Spirit has your back. This is the energy of five. Trust in this change. There is more going on here than you understand right now. So don't think you have it all. Just trust the spirit knows the way. This is um, legal issues. This could also be government issues, dealing with schools or universities. This is Capricornian energy. So, um, ooh. Um, it's also you taking the lead, Saturnian energy, Saturn enter, entering Aquarius. I just said that. These are a lot of cards though. Watch your words has come out, but it's come out in reverse. You're not sure what to say. It's almost like you've been muted somehow, which can be very frustrating for you. But trust that that's all in divine timing right now, Aquarius. It also could be people being critical of who you are. Um, life is a mystery is here. Bobcat is in reverse. The mask is falling off and um, secrets are coming out. Truths are being revealed. Secrets are coming out. Oh, this is the energy of, of, of people not wanting to listen to you. Even though you have found your voice and you're irritating the crap out of people, people don't want to listen to you. They don't want to believe what you've seen or what you have to say. That's what this energy is. But here you are, trust in the magic, trust in the newness and the new beginning. Um, and then embrace the in-between. This is Libra energy upright. So be very economic and be very le economic, like balance out your resources. Slow and, <coughs> Slow and steady wins the race. Find your tribe, find your flock, find the power of the people who look like you. Remember, flamingos flock together with that bright pink to basically help to protect themselves, a defensive mechanism to make them look like they're bigger than they are to intimidate potential predators. So um, find your flock, focus on finding your flock right now and focus on being around those people who really, really love you and support you. You may be at a distance from them. Um, you may feel like that, that energy is shifting. The people that you used to trust, you don't trust anymore. Um, moving away from groups that you've outgrown, but this is definitely, um, this is definitely finding your flock, but it's also embrace the in-between. So finding comfort in this in-between period right now, where you feel like you're muted, or you feel like people aren't listening to you, or you feel like there's a lack of growth or movement. Like I said, that is just the Mercury retrograde and Pisces season. Those things will end and a lot will start moving very rapidly because this card comes next. Claim your independence. Independence away from fitting in. So you're about to stand out is what this is telling me. Your new beginning is going to be you standing out and being heard. And right now it's like that arrow being pulled back. You're being pulled back right now before you launch forward. Uh, so Aquarius, embrace this time right now. Learn all you can. Uh, just observe all you can while you're pulled back because you're about to spring forward and you're not going to blend in anymore. You're going to be going solo. You're going to stand out. You're going to almost, 
almost like sever any ties from what was expected of you or from any any kind of group or association where you had to quote unquote fit in no more of that you you are going to be full-fledged aquarius stand out be unique be eccentric and be all that you are you'll land on your feet even if there is a bit of a fall this is the energy of uh, three plus one equals a four stability finding your stability by finding yourself again and by finding your own unique sense of self your own style and not caring what anybody else has to say about it Aquarius hold on I'm going to review the energy and the cards lots of energy huge um, overall there's a shift there's an awakening and a shift here that you can't go that you can't come back from it's a permanent change you are maturing and developing and becoming much more capable thinking outside of yourself thinking outside of whatever um, whatever you, uh, whatever establishment uh, you've been a part of maybe even challenging it to reconstruct it from the inside out pointing out things that need to change feeling at first like nobody is listening to you you're going to dive in almost to this tank of sharks and feel like nobody is hearing you but simultaneously believe me you're about to leap forward you're about to have this whole new place in front of people you're about to stand out from the crowd if um especially after um you're about to stand out from the crowd after some sort of veil has been pulled down. This is the energy of something being revealed. Of the moon card, there was a secret that's kept that's now out. And then, yeah, wolf energy is my moon card. And then bobcat energy is like the mask is coming off. Whatever was deceiving or tricking, or and this could be about your personality too, whatever didn't belong or fit anymore is being reborn into something brand new. And... um it's going, you're going to be more independent here, not so much flocking or staying, uh, staying kind of dependent upon a specific crowd. Like I said, this could even be you changing crowds or realizing that it doesn't fit you anymore. Um, and moving on, moving on and, and spending more time, not spending more time alone. Yes. Yeah. Going solo going solo and and having the strength and the courage and believing that and knowing that that's the right time the right place for you to do that uh th that it's the right time for you to do that so aquarius um i'm gonna go deep and articulate a lot of these themes over in the extended i do hope that you join me that's going to also include your romance reading um that link is below i will see you over there